Hi, my name is Judith Scarl, and I'm the International Coordinator of the Rusty Blackbird Spring Migration Blitz. This video explains how to submit data to the Rusty Blitz. All of our data are collected through eBird, so first go to the website eBird.ca if you're in Canada, or eBird.org if you're in the United States. Click the link to sign in or register on the top left. If you don't already have an account, it's fast and easy to register. In the first screen, you'll be asked where you went birding. You have several options here. If you're already an established eBird user and have submitted data previously, you may have locations saved. Or if you noted the latitude or longitude where you went birding, you can enter them by clicking this link. For the Blitz, we prefer that you don't use the county, city, or state option since we need more specific information about where you saw Rusty's. A great option is to find our location on a map. Enter the county or state in which you went searching for Rusties if you're in the U U.S., or in Canada, enter the province or territory. I'm going to create a report for an imaginary flock of Rusty Blackbird observations in Glen Cove, New York. First, I'll go to Nassau County in New York State. I'll zoom to the city of Glen Cove. The map will show you all of the existing eBird hotspots, as well as any personal locations you may have mapped earlier. If you searched for or observed Rusty's at an existing eBird hotspot, you can click on that hotspot marker. Although some hotspots represent a very large area, and remember that we need location information that's as specific as possible. I saw this imaginary fl Rusty flock towards the center of town, Zoom in as far as you can to find the exact location where you went birding. Here's the pond. If I click on the exact location where I went birding or where I made my observation, eBird will prompt me to enter a location name to the right. I'll call this Desaurus Pond. Next, we're prompted to enter the observation date. We'll say that I conducted this imaginary survey on the first day of the Blitz in 2014. And then eBird asks how we surveyed for this, in for this observation. Whenever you specifically search for rusty blackbirds between the 1st of March and the 15th of June, please submit your data to the other category, Rusty Blackbird Spring Migration Blitz. Even if you searched for Rusties but didn't find them, please report your effort to the Rusty Blackbird Spring Migration Blitz protocol so we have information about areas that Rusties are not using at a particular time. If you weren't specifically searching for Rusties during your birding trip, but you observed this species, you can still submit your data under the Rusty Blackbird Spring Migration Blitz protocol option. Note that all Rusty Blackbird sightings between the 1st of March and the 15th of June are used for the Blitz, regardless of whether they're submitted to the protocol. So if you were not specifically looking for Rusties and prefer to use one of the other protocols to submit your data, we'll still be able to use your data. You'll be asked to enter the start time of the observation, the duration of your survey, the distance you traveled while birding, your party size, and any comments about your survey. If you're looking for rusty blackbirds and travel a long way, we recommend that you break your trip into parts for the purpose of reporting. Remember, the more specific information we have about exactly where you searched for and found Rusty's, the better. Next, you'll be asked to enter information about the birds you observed on your trip. Blackbirds appear towards the bottom of the species list, so we can jump to the section by typing Rusty Blackbird in the upper right hand corner. 
Specific information about rusty blackbirds, where they were, what they were doing, and what other species were around is extremely helpful for the blitz. Please indicate the number of rusties you saw and heard, and of course if you didn't see rusties, this number will be zero, as well as any other birds you observed during your search. I'm not going to enter all of the other birds from this checklist right now, but please do submit a complete checklist if you can. In the details section, Please note information about the habitat in which you searched for or found rusties, as well as their behavior and vocalizations, if you noted any of this information. It's helpful for us if you organize information about habitat, vocalizations, and behavior using semicolons. Here's an example. Habitat, edge of pond, colon, vocalizations, none, semicolon, behavior, foraging in, in shallow water. Organizing your information like this is not mandatory, but it will help us to correctly extract the information we need. We can also enter data about the age and the sex of the birds that we observed. If you were able to take pictures of Rusty's, this is extremely helpful. You can embed photos into your eBird report. While a description of how to do this is beyond the scope of this video, eBird has an excellent help section that you can find at the top of the page. And the help section has an article that will walk you through how to add photos to your checklist. When you're done entering all of your data, eBird asks if you're submitting a complete checklist of all the birds that you were able to identify. It's helpful if you record everything you encounter, not just Rusty's. If you have recorded everything you saw and were able to identify, please select yes otherwise indicate no, and then you can submit your checklist. Each time you go out birding, please submit a new checklist. Remember, between the 1st of March and the 15th of June in 2015 and 2016, if you search for rusty blackbirds, please submit your data under the survey type Rusty Blackbird Spring Migration Blitz, regardless of whether or not you found rusties. To learn more about the rusty blackbird and the blitz, please visit our website, Rusty Blackbird dot org outreach migration dash blitz. Thank you for helping us understand this vulnerable songbird. Happy birding!